Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lynette and this is a tourism channel where I talk about tourism, travel, is your first time here. Check out my videos where I travel around Uganda. So today we are at the Muammar Gaddafi Mosque in Old Kampala. We're learning about the history of the mosque, the architectural design, the Islamic religion. We're going to read the Quran to you. We're going to go up to the tower here at the ladies section where the women sit. And our amazing guy Yusuf is going to let us know why the ladies sit here and why the gentlemen sit down there. It's beautiful. I'm all dressed up in the Islamic way. You know, I have my kakaya going and all these beautiful things. I love the chandelier. I don't know. Can you guys see this chandelier? So just stay tuned, subscribe to my channel and enjoy this video. Bye! Hello, my name is Yusuf. Welcome to Gaddafi Mosque. This is Gaddafi Mosque. So the idea came from Idi Amin. Originally, the mosque was started by Idi Amin during his regime in 1971 up to 1979. He provided the land and started to construct a mosque, but he failed to complete the whole mosque due to lack of funds. The building was at a standstill since 1970s up to southern. In 2000, that's when our leader of Muslims, the Mufti of Uganda, Sheikh Shaban Ramadan Muwaje, approached Gaddafi and requested him to construct for us the mosque. Gaddafi, Gaddafi accepted. When he came, he removed everything and started the new foundation. So this is the new foundation. Construction began in 2003, completed in 2006, and opened officially in 2008 and then how did the headquarters of Uganda Muslim Supreme Council. This is the first biggest, uh, this is the first biggest mosque in Sub-Sahara region and one of the biggest mosques in the, in the whole continent, Africa. So we are right now in the upper part of the mosque. So this part is for only special days, like every Friday for Juma prayers and during weekend for a wedding ceremonies. That's when we use this part. This part is for only men, but uh, here up, let's move a bit in front, then we show them the upper part. So this part is for men, then the upper part is for ladies. In the mosque, men and women, they don't pray together, we separate to avoid temptations or distractions, that's why we separate. and. That part is for women, this one is for men. The, the, the part for men is always big. It's bigger than the one for ladies. So, uh, so the part for women, it is small because they pray from home to take care of the children and sometimes they are not allowed to pray. When ladies give birth and during menstruation period, they are not allowed to pray because in Islam, we take blood as an impure substance. So, I think let's move in a bit in front to see some features of the mosque. Okay, the mosque itself is made in three designs. We have African design, European design, and Arab design. We have this design made of wood, was imported from Congo and presents, European, uh, and presents African setting. Then we have the glasses, on windows and doors. We are imported from Italy and represent European setting. Then we also have chandriers. Chandriers up here and then they, they are from Egypt and present Arab settings. When you look around, you see what is written on the wall in Arabic language. Behind and in front, we have verses from the Holy Quran written on the wall. From here we shall go to see the Quran and then I'll tell you more a bit about the, the verses. Mm -hmm. Then on right hand side and left hand side we have 99 names of God written on the wall. Mm -hmm. 
or 99 attributes of God, like the creator, the forgiver, the provider, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent. So there are 99 names of God. Yeah, yes. Yeah. The other side and this side. Yes. So you're coming back now on the Shandria? Shandria is are from Egypt mm. and presents Arab settings. Okay. And those carvings, they, they are just carvings up. They are not, the mosque is not painted. They carve the, the, the wall and wow. paint it. Yeah. So after here, we shall move to the ladies' part. Then you see, you see, you'll even touch those carvings. Let's move a bit in front to see some feature out of the mosque. Okay. So in every mosque, we have this part. This part is Kibra, and the word Kibra means direction to Mecca. Yeah, it's where we face when we are performing our prayers. It helps us to know where we are supposed to face. And it's also where our leader, the Imam, he stands here and lead a prayer. For us, we join lines while we're facing the same direction, Mecca. So, so you, you, like, this, this carpet shows the line that we are supposed to sit, right? Not people, not the way how people are supposed to sit. Mm -hmm. They design the carpet, like, uh, the, 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 according to this mosque, the design oh, on the carpet, yeah. it's the one in the, in, the in the mosque, yeah. So we stand in lines, facing the same direction maker. We touch each other here and here, and we face the same direction. Okay. If, mm. I'm assuming if we were both men, yes. we would be here like this. Yes, that. we should, like this. Yeah. You don't have to stretch your legs like this to cover the whole of this face. You just stand upright and then we face the same direction. Okay. Yes, our prayer, we demonstrate. We say, Allah, Akbar. Then you also go here and down. So it's a demonstration. Yes, I was just trying to give you a sample of the prayer. <laughs> but not the real one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, should we proceed to see the mimbari? This is the mimbari. It's where our leader, uh, we, we, yes, the imam, he first preaches from here. Then after preaching, that's when he goes this side. There is, we, yes, we have here a separate door. I think you have seen it. Yes, this is the sacred door. Yeah, that's how you can get up there. Now let's go to see the Quran. So we have Qurans written in different languages. Mm -hmm. So this is Arabic Quran and this is English Quran. Mm. Yes. Let me see the English Quran. You can just have a look. Wow. Yes. You're free to read. The Quran. Hey, but before you hold the Quran, you have to stick in it. For this one. But this one is the translated one. Really? Okay, so this is Arabic Quran, yes. this is English Quran. Yes. Reading this Quran, we start from this side to this side, as you see 96, 97, 98. These are chapters, yes. And we have this chapter, it is Sulat Harak. Can you repeat? Sulat Harak. Yes. What does it mean? Okay, so I'm going to read for you, mm. then I will give you the meaning. Yes. Okay, so we all, we have this we always have this word at the start, mm. Hmm? Mm. as you see here, mm. so here, here. So yeah. before we write, uh, before 
the chapter, before we write the chapter, mm. we have to start with this word. Or oh, before we do anything, we have to start with the word Bismillah. I think you have ever heard people. Bismillah. Yes. We, be, we say Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Yes. It means the name of God, the most merciful and the most gracious. Yes. So this is Surah Tarak. Itla. Read, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alladhi halak the name of your Lord. Halak ali insana min halak who has created you from the coat of blood. But when we are praying, we are not supposed to mix languages. We just use only one language. That is Arabic language. Mm. And when the leader is preaching in this mosque, he has to use four languages. That is Arabic, English, Uganda, and Swahili. Yeah. So that many people can get the information. So you just, just read first this verse, don't translate, just read it so that the viewers okay. can get a feel of the Arabic language. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay, as I told you that this space is for ladies and it is very small, you can have a look, then we pray at the same time, but uh, the press, this press is very small and the other one is big. And then the carvings, you can come this side and show them carvings. So these are carvings. I told you. Okay, the capacity of only this upper part is 8,000. This space is for 2,000. The other one is for 6,000. The other one for men is for is The capacity is 6,000. In case you have some questions about the religion, about the mosque, about you are free to raise questions. <laughs> Big. I don't want them to appear big. You want to appear small? Yes! <laughs> okay, so you cover a bit your arms, this side. Yeah. Okay. 